go today. Uh, meeting in one hour. And uh, I'll tell you what, I'm excited about this meeting because we're meeting with uh, all the coaches, the athletic director, and his senior staff, a ton of their administrators. Uh, this athletic director we're meeting with today has basically, uh, well, his number one value is competitiveness, so he's sincerely interested in getting better and, and helping his teams get over the hump, some of which have been around 500 a little above, some have struggled, some are winning, but he's really trying to drive their initiative, look for an, an edge in everything they're doing. Um, one of the things that drives me nuts, and, and with all due respect to athletic directors out there, is I've met with a lot of them, and they'll tell me, uh, you know, our coaches have a budget, if they want to implement your system, uh, they, you can talk to them directly. We won't, we'll let, let them do it, but they've got to sign off on it. But to me, as an athletic director, your job is to be a leader. And if character and behavior uh, is what so many departments are worried about uh, in being in the newspaper, I mean, we've all seen what happened to Baylor. We've seen what happened to Ole Miss. We've seen what happened to, I can keep going, uh, on how it can crush your culture. If we're so concerned about understanding behavior, getting the right kids into our program, uh, communicating better, motivating better, why don't more athletic directors do what's happening today? Bringing coaches together for a discussion. It may not work out with these guys, but at least they're having the conversation. And so I love this group in Pittsburgh today. Love the city, by the way. Um, a lot of good food here. but. I'm more excited about the conversation that's going to happen today. I wish more athletic directors would do what he's doing. So let me ask you guys a question. What happens when you deal with a player, an employee, uh, someone you work with, and they really aren't self-aware? I think sometimes we want to be people we're not. And uh, people get scared of our stuff sometimes because they feel like they're exposed or we can see behind the mask. But uh, people just have to embrace it. If you embrace it, uh, that's kind of the fun part. But don't be ashamed of who you are. That's, that's the frustrating part for me in this kind of stuff.